Online dating can be tricky, but it can get more complicated when you're dating someone from a whole other country, such as the Philippines. I lived in the Philippines for quite a long time and did a lot of dating, so I've seen a lot of the online trickery that can be done to you if you're not careful. So if you're new to the game, you really have to watch yourself because you'll get played. Many of the women like to have multiple social media accounts, and they'll consistently change the names on the accounts. So at the end of the day, you may not know who you're really talking to or what their real name is. Sometimes they'll use the picture of a more attractive relative and they'll be talking to you. So you'll think that you're talking to one girl and come to find out later it's someone else. Or they'll send you a picture of a younger, thinner, more attractive self before they've had five kids. And then when you meet them in person, you say to yourself, man, what disaster have I stumbled upon? Terrible. This is one of the worst catastrophes in the world. Oh, it's like 20, oh, four or 500 feet into the sky. And it's a terrific crash, ladies and gentlemen. The smoke and the flames now. And the flame is crashing to the ground. Not quite to the morning mass of the humanity. And all the- so she turns out to be ugly. You just got catfished. It happens to the best of us. So if you're old school and you don't know, catfishing is when someone sets up a fake online profile to trick people who are looking for love, usually to get money out of them. I remember one time when I was in the Philippines, I had met this girl online, and her profile picture looked great. I was excited to meet her. But I made one mistake. I didn't get on the video chat with her before she came to my house. And so I went downstairs of my condos to meet her. And as soon as she got out the taxi, I knew I had made a mistake. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so needless to say, she didn't look that great. But I didn't want to be cruel, so I let her come up to the room, and we hung out for a little bit, and then I sent her home. So the moral of the story is, what you see is not what you always get. So make sure you check everything out before you jump headlong into a situation that you may regret later on.